Hey guys, how you doing? It's me, Teresa, with Chaos Walking. Today I'm in the kitchen and I'm going to be preserving some of my tomatoes. I'm going to use Shea Elliott's from the Elliott Homestead. I'm going to use her recipe for oil packed tomatoes. I will put the link to her video in the show notes or I'll put it in a little i card up on the top. I'm not sure which. But what I've already done is I took what cherry tomatoes I had and I just placed them on my baking sheet and spread them out. And now I'm going ahead and quartering up my plum tomatoes. So they're relatively the same size as these cherry tomatoes and just placing them also on the baking sheet. You can kind of see me going on and just like touching them a little bit because I want to make sure I'm getting the ones that are a little more ripe than the other ones so I can, you know, use them up. And then I'm going to drizzle them with some olive oil and sprinkle on some salt and I'm going to put them in the oven at 400 degrees and I'm going to roast them for about 20 minutes. Now, while those are in the oven roasting, I also was cooking up from my garden some potatoes and onions for our breakfast this morning. Here I'm just moving them about so they don't burn. And it's a combination of, what do I got? Some Yukon, some Prairie Blush, some Caribe. And I can't remember, there's a fourth one in there. It's either a red or a purple. But, yeah, so I'm doing that. And maybe you saw my dog in the background. He's a tomato boy, and he wants me to give him some tomatoes. But he already had the ends of the tomatoes, so he's not getting any more. Just a little seasoning here with some salt and pepper. You know, you gotta have salt and pepper. And then I'm just going to put the lid back on the pan to help those potatoes soften up. And from there, I am going to go back to my um, tomatoes and take them out of the oven, wait for them to cool down a bit. And of course, I neglected to film me actually packing the tomatoes into the jars, but I just packed them into the jars. Really, you know, I thought I was going to have enough for six jars, but one and a half is all I got. So I um, packed those tomatoes into those jars, and the next step is to pour some olive oil over the tomatoes. And that's what you see me doing here. I've got some olive oil. I'm filling it, making sure that it covers the tomatoes. I also put some, uh, a little bit of garlic in there to give it a little bit of flavor. Whoops! Lost the video here. We almost had a catastrophe on our hands. But my quick reflexes saved it. So anyhow, here's the jars. And now I'm going to go in with a butter knife. And I'm going to go along the sides releasing any air bubbles that might be in you can see if you look real close you can see the air bubbles coming up so i did that with both jars and here's a whole heck of a lot of video showing me doing that oh, look at us go look at us go we're just click 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 oh my god Anyway, so after I do all this, I got, I don't know if I need to do this, but I got some vinegar on a paper towel and wiped clean the rim of the jars. And then I put the lids on, tightened them up, and labeled them with today's date and what exactly was in these jars. So that when I go to my refrigerator in the back, oh, plus I uh, put them in the refrigerator. That's how you're preserving them, in the refrigerator. You're not uh, water canning them or anything like that. It's just refrigerated preserving. And so by labeling them, I will know when they were preserved and what exactly they are, because I'm hoping not to touch them for a while, so I'll have them during winter. We'll see what happens. 
and yeah that's pretty much the end of this video um this is the first time voice doing a voiceover and i really suck but thanks for watching all the way through have a good day bye